In this video, we'll show you how to export scenes from Autodesk Maya into Bakery Relight. We'll also discuss about pipeline and about how to integrate Bakery inside of a Maya-based pipeline. So first you need to install Bakery's plugin for Maya, which is in Relight installation folder. So you, in Windows, it's in Program Files, the Bakery, Relight, and you have this folder called Plugins. And here I'm going to use Maya 2012. So now you have all, the, all these files, you have the Maya plugin and a few mail scripts. So to install it, all you need to do is to copy this path as a variable in Maya environment. So Maya environment file can usually be found in my documents Maya, Maya 2012, and this Maya.env file. So you can open it in a text editor and then add the variables Maya plugin path equals, and then you can copy paste the path here and then do the same with Maya script path equals and then you copy the path. Okay, so that's all you need to do. So now you can open Maya. So now if you open the plugin manager in window settings, you should see this line here corresponding to bakery plugin. And when you load it, you will see a new menu here called bakery. So the files needed to run this tutorial can be found in Relight Installation Path in folder Examples Maya. And since we're going to modify these files, we should copy them somewhere else. So you can either do it manually or you can load this tutorial from Relight Interface using Menu Help, Tutorials, Maya Export, and then you will be invited to copy the Maya database. So let's choose a destination folder in C, TMP, and Maya Tutorial. Okay, now the Maya files have been copied and let's open the first scene from Maya. And I can see I have three scenes and the first one I'm going to open is called Baker. So this is the Baker character in neutral pose. And here you can see that only the modeling has been done there is no surfacing in this scene, which is actually the best configuration for our production pipeline, which is to do the modeling, rigging, animation, simulation, all this in Maya, but the surfacing and lighting would be done completely in real light. So that's the ideal configuration for our pipeline. In case you export a scene that has already been shaded in Maya, you must be aware that you won't get automatically the same result in real light since the shading trees are different. You'll get a basic translation, like a few attributes like diffuse, specular will be converted, and mainly you will have all the textures attached to the corresponding materials in real light. But since you will have some additional work to adapt the shading tree, then the ideal configuration is to start the surfacing from scratch in real light. So let's do it. Let's export the scene using menu bakery, export scene to bakery. So now you have this window with all the options listed. You can choose to export a single frame, which is what we're doing here, or an animation. You can choose to export or not the cameras, lights, geometries, particles, the different types of geometries like polymeshes, surfaces, like curves. For example, if you have a lot of rigging in your scene and if you don't want to export any curves, you can turn off the NURBS curves and so on. You can even define a configuration file with all the options listed and let's to export all and now you can choose a destination path to export your scene so I'm going to use the same folder as before Maya tutorial let's create a folder called the bakery and now I'm going to call it Baker to make it simple okay so now my scene has been exported I can see that I have this new node called BK scene that has been added automatically in my scene and this node actually contains in its extra attributes all the export options and the destination folder. And I, this node may be useful later if, if I want to re-export my scene under same conditions or if this scene is referenced somewhere else. So I can save my scene and keep this node. So let's see what files have been created during the export. So in bakery, baker, I can see several files, but the main one, the one I have to open, is baker.bkr. So this is the Relight scene. So it's an ASCII file containing information about the nodes and their attribute values and so, but it doesn't contain any geometry. The geometries are referenced as an external file and you can find them in data abc export.abc. So you can see that this file is in Alembic format. 
it's an alembic cache that is created during the export so here I only have one frame inside but you can have a whole animation and since the geometries are baked per frame during the export we don't care about which plugins you may have used for the skinning, the rigging, the simulation it doesn't matter, the geometries are baked as they are in this alembic cache now let's come back to the BKR scene and let's double click on it to open Relight and to see what we have in the scene. So at the left in the hierarchy view we can see all nodes present in the scene and all nodes below Baker correspond to the geometries found in the Alembic cache. They are shown here in the same hierarchy as we had in Maya Outliner so that we don't get lost. If we double click on some items we can see the pieces of geometry in, in the geometry viewer. But until here we don't see anything in the 3D view because when we open Relight the 3D view is always disabled by default so that the application can be opened quickly without loading all the geometries. So to enable it you have to click on this button here and now the 3D view is open. Now let's use the menu View, Camera and Camera Surfacing and now we're seeing the scene from the point of view of this camera here, Camera Surfacing, which was not present in the Maya scene because when we export, the plugin will automatically create a turntable camera as well as a default lighting scenario to help us in the surfacing process. And if you want, you can create a custom lighting scenario that will be copied each time you export from Maya. So now let's frame the geometries by using menu view, frame all, or shortcut A. We can move the camera with the Alt key and we'll still have the turntable enabled. Now let's render the scene using menu render and let's see what we have. Okay, so as I explained before, there is no surfacing yet in this scene, it's all grey and now comes the moment to do the surfacing, so to uh, edit the shaders, uh, add new textures, create complex shading trees and so on, but we won't discuss about this here, that will be the subject for another tutorial. And instead we want to wonder, as a pipeline consideration, what is going to happen after I do my surfacing in real light if I have a retake in Maya. How am I going to merge the, my previous work in real light with the retakes in the geometry? And actually it's very simple. You just have to re-export your scene just like you did first time from Maya and the plugin will update the Alembic cache geometries but you won't lose anything of what you've done in real light. So let's do a small test. Uh, we're going to do some changes here in the shaders uh, to represent our surfacing and then we're going to do a retake in Maya to see what happens. So we won't try to make it look beautiful, we just want to do some changes that we'll be able to recognize later. So a simple thing that you can do is to right click in the render view, switch to material picking and then pick on the materials that you want to change. For example, I can change the diffuse color, I can remove this ugly specular and you don't have to do the same thing as I'm doing. If you want, you can add new nodes in the shading tree. You can add as many nodes as you want. Just do some changes that you'll be able to recognize later. Okay, so now I'm happy with this wonderful surfacing. So I'm going to save the scene using File, Save, and I'm going to close Relight. But now we need to do some retakes in Maya. So for example, we want to rescale the hat in the X direction like this to give it a, a strange shape. Or we want to make the right fingers longer, so we have to deform the geometries and move the vertices. And we also want to add new geometries in the scene, so it could be some shoes or a belt, but to make it simple we're just going to add a plane. Again, you can do any other change that you want here. And so now we have this Maya scene that uh, has some retakes. We have to re-export it to Relight to render it, but of course we don't want to lose what we've done previously. But the plugin will handle this. All we have to do is to re-export the scene. So since we don't want to fill the export options again, we have to do Bakery, Update Export, and that's all. The scene has been updated. So let's see what we have in Relight now. Let's open the scene. Let's enable the 3D view. So we can see that the geometries have been correctly updated. I also have the plane now. And if I render, I can see that my shaders are still there. I didn't lose anything you know, of my surfacing. And also, if you don't add new geometries in the scene, you don't even have to close Relight and, and reopen it. For example, if I rescale the hat again and I do Update Export, I can just do File, Reload All Geometries, and that's all. It, ha it has been updated. 
In case I want to export with different options, for example, I no longer want to export the cameras or the lights or I want to export in animation, then I will have to use the menu Bakery, Export Scene to Bakery. So now I have the Options window again, which is filled by default with the previous export options. And then I can choose change whatever I want. And if I do export all, then I have the file browser. So here, either I can choose a different file name if I want to export to a different place, or if I want to re-export to the same destination, then I have to select the BKR file. So I can go in Baker, baker.bkr, and that's it. Uh, this has uh, updated my exports. Something useful that can be done is to tag some nodes in Maya so that they are exported in a specific way to relight. So if you select an object in the Maya scene and use the menu Bakery, tag selected node as, then you have a list of tags. And uh, for example, an interesting one is BK Ignore. It will skip this object during the export. And for example, you often have rigging information or stuff that don't have to be exported to, to relight because they are useless for a renderer. Then it's much better to tag them as BK Ignore or you can also use the BK merge tag that is going to merge all the geometries be below this node as a single geometry node in Relight, so it's a tessellator in Relight. And for example, if you have a tree where each leaf is a separate geometry in Maya, it's much more optimized to select them and tag them as BK merge so that you have a single geometry node in, in Relight. It's going to be faster to export, uh, faster to open the Relight scene, and maybe faster in the UI too because you will have less separate nodes in, in Relight. So here we've done some simple exports, but actually in practice, in production, the pipeline is more complex because you will have separate scenes for each asset, for example, a character or environment. You will want to do the surfacing separately on each of these scenes. And then you will have some shots that will reference each of these assets uh, that will animate them. And of course, you won't want to duplicate the surfacing on each of these shots. So let's simulate this. So this um, Baker scene was actually a character asset scene. We've just done the surfacing. So now uh, let's save the Maya scene so that the BKC node is saved here. It's very important. And now let's open another scene. So let's open uh, the baguette scene. So this is a scene with uh, this French baguette. So we can see it as a, a props asset. And uh, let's export it using Bakery. Export scene to Bakery. We can leave the export options unchanged. And uh, let's choose a destination path called Baguette to make it simple. So now if we open the Relight scene, let's open the 3D view, use View, Camera, Camera Surfacing. Use the shortcut A to frame the geometry. Okay, so this geometry has to be smooth. So let's select it and let's change the type to uh, subdiv. So it does some subdivision surface. Now if we render, we can see it's perfectly smooth. Let's select the material and give it a, an orange color. Okay, so of course, again, you can do more complex changes on this scene if you want to. I'm going to save it. And now I'm going to open another scene called Baker Pose in, in Maya. Again, I have to save the previous scene so that the BK scene node is saved. Okay, so this Baker Pose scene is referencing the two previous ones. You can see it in the reference editor. And you can see that the geometries are deformed here. So here it's a single frame pose, but it could be an animated shot. It would be the exact same situation. And the previous BKC nodes are present here. And that's very important. These nodes will allow the plugin to do the re referencing automatically. So let's do bakery, export scene to bakery. Uh, if it was a shot, I would uh, export in animation. But since it, it's a single frame, I'm just going to export a single frame again. And as a destination path, I'm going to choose baker pose again to make it simple. And that's all. Now I can open the relight scene. So let's open the 3D view and let's do view camera and let's choose this camera here that was exported from Maya. And I can see that I have the correct geometries. They are correctly deformed. I have the correct uh, camera. And so I have the same geometries that I had in, in Maya. But now if I render, I can see that, surprise, the shaders that I had done in my previous surfacing scenes are present here. So if I open the Include Manager, which is similar to the Reference Editor in Menu File, Include Manager, I can see that I'm referencing two Alembic files containing the default geometries for the Baker and Baguette scene, but I'm also referencing the Relight scenes 
for the baker and the get. Okay, so since uh, I'm having scene references here, just like I have in Maya, of course I can do some changes in the original asset scenes and it's going to be reported automatically in every shot. So for example, let's save the scene, let's close it. If I come back to the baker character, I can do a, a change in a, any one of the shaders. I save the scene. And now if I reopen the Baker pose scene, I can see that the previous change is present now. So, uh, of course, I can still do overrides in the shot so that I do a small change in a material, for example, that will only be applied for this shot without changing the original asset scene. So if I change a color in my shader, I can see that the object gets pink in the, in the UI. That means that it's overridden and that this change is local to uh, this shot. And again, if I have a retake in my Maya scene, for example, if you have a geometry penetrations, you need to change some things, or if the camera has to be uh, updated, uh, you can go back in the Maya scene, do whatever change that you want. You can move the camera and uh, uh, change the geometries. You do bakery update exported scene, and now if you come back to Relight, you can see that uh, the retake has been handled automatically.